What's up you guys? Today I want to show you a tutorial on how to really quickly spin up a Twilio account and send out a test SMS text message using the Twilio API in C Sharp. All right, I've already set up a basic project with a console application in Visual Studio. I'm going to really quickly do this from scratch. Uh, I've done it before for professional jobs, but I'm just going to do it from scratch here and show you guys what I would do. So let me bring up a browser here and go to Twilio's website. And we're going to go ahead and create an account for it. All right. So I'm going to make one under my email address here. So I'll go to sign up for free. And I'm going to go ahead and just put in my name here. So Isa, blah. And then here's my email address and a password. Woo, they want 14 characters. That's quite a few. All right. Let me go ahead and accept their terms and start my free trial. All right. What I'm hoping is they don't give me an issue with my phone number because I technically have used that on a couple of other professional accounts. But let's give it a shot. So I'm just really quickly going into my email and verifying because that's what they want me to do. I'm confirming. Let's see if it auto -val verifies there. All right. So I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. What it's asking me for after I hit the verification in my email is to enter my phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And let's see if it lets, oh, it didn't seem to give me a problem. So let's see. Um, I did just get a text message and it's asking me for verification. So just to show you guys here, got a little verification code. I'm going to go ahead and enter that. So awesome. So that worked sweet. Do I write code? Um, kind of. What is my preferred language? Uh, I don't really have one, but in this case, I'm showing you guys how to use C Sharp. So let's go C Sharp. What's my goal to get today? Uh, use Twilio in a project, in a student or hackathon project. Uh, let's just skip the dashboard. Um, okay, so they've given me a trial balance. So again, this is a trial account. This is going to allow me to go ahead and at least test the API. What I'm going to show you guys is the really, really basic stuff. They basically give us the source code for Twilio. So I'm going to look up Twilio C Sharp SMS API and let's see what comes up. So it should give us the exact source code to do some really, really basic uh, text messaging out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy this good stuff and paste it into our Visual Studio application. All right. So find your account ID and token at Twilio console. So what they're talking about here, uh, first of all, we need to get the Twilio library. So I'm going to go to package manager and let's just uh, go and see what the exact project is. Okay. Install package Twilio. Here we go. Uh, let's just, oh, there we go. Should be pretty fast. Awesome. So we'll say using Twilio. Awesome. I'm going to remove all these other libraries. I don't need them. And message resource. Let's see. Am I missing a library here? There we go. Was there another option here? So. No, that, that seems fine. 2010 API. Huh. I don't know why I find that kind of sketchy. In any case, uh, so the account ID, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fill this out information out from our uh, account here. So when I created it, I got my dashboard. In that dashboard, I got my account SID, SID here. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and paste that into this form here. Next, I'm going to go ahead and show my token. Don't copy it, you guys. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that into my auth here. Awesome. Lastly, I'm going to go into Twilio right now. 
and just make sure. So right now, the trial accounts, I can send messages and make calls to verified numbers. Messages and calls include a note. Cool. So I think the only verified number I currently have is my test phone number. So it's the one that I signed up with. Uh, I do not have any credit card account information in here for them to use. So this should work pretty much as is. Let's go into this really quickly test to text message. We're just using their straight API here. Um, let's see. So from, oh, we do we even have a phone number set up yet? That's a good question. So let's see. Verified numbers. So there's my verified number. Perfect. Let's just double check. So if I run this right now, let's see, do I get a text message? Oh, it's, I need to make sure I set the, the two number to my verified number. If it's not the verified number, when you're on your trial account, it will throw an error. All right. Now the from number is not valid. So what that probably means is we need to actually create a from number and using Twilio's dashboard, we should be able to go ahead and buy a number. So what we're gonna do is create one. So I'm gonna go ahead and say tutorial for my number. Let's see if we can find anything, no results. Let's just say Boston maybe. So location, I'm out in the Boston area. Let's just see if there's anything with a Boston number. Um, East Boston, Massachusetts. I'm just gonna pick the, the first one here, all right? I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy this number. <clears throat> and as easy as that, I have a number with Twilio, all right? So the first thing I need to do now is enter that number into my from number in the actual source code for the API. Now I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna go ahead and compile and run. It should succeed. It must have succeeded. Let's see if my phone gets anything here. Let's see, I don't see anything. Oh, I just saw something pop up. You should have seen it. Very small there, so let me just bring this into a larger size. Let's see what the message was. So, from your Twilio trial account, join Earth's mightiest heroes like Kevin Bacon. So you guys should see that on there. It's from the from, the from number there to my personal number. And it's using that same little body text, which is in there already. Um, let's see. So there you go if you want to take a look. Now, how do we add the ability to send a MMS? Say you want to send an image with this, right? Let's show you how to do that really quickly. So the first thing we need to do in order to do that is make sure we get the right API kind of modification there, right? So let's see, I had it open. Let's see, how do we add an image here? So great, great, there's the response. Let's see, MMS, let's Google it. Twilio C Sharp MMS. Let's see, did they give us the, I think it's just URL, to be quite honest. I think that's all we need to add to the message. So well, let me give that a shot, just because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So a URL, colon, and then we go ahead and add a path there. Let me just confirm that. All right, so that's in there. You know, let's really quickly go back to the documentation and I'm sure we could figure out. So send SMS and MMS. Let's see, um, drop down. There we go. Here's the media URL. So we're creating another object and it looks like we're using link to convert it into a list object with the URI, and then we're just attaching that object in our message. Uh, so let's go ahead and use what they're telling us to do. So what they're doing is they're creating a media URL object and using link here to go ahead and convert it. So let's do a quick copy of our, our cuter picture, which is gonna be better than whatever they're giving us. So this is from 
the AKC website. Thanks guys for your temp image that I'm using. And uh, let's go ahead. We're missing the link. Yep. So let's see if we just need to include link. System.link. That should fix that. Perfect. And then here, it, I, they were just referencing media URL. And I believe I'm using the wrong, there we go. The, long, the wrong actual kind of title there. All right, so that looks like it should be pretty clean. Let's go ahead and give this a different body message so we can distinguish between it. So uh, sending our super cute puppy picture. And then let's go ahead and see what happens when we do that. So let's save it, build, and let's go ahead and run it. All right. That was really fast. I'm looking at my phone. Am I going to get any? Yep, I just got something. You'd see something's loading, and there's my cute puppy picture. So sent from my Twilio trial account, sending our super cute puppy picture. There you go, a little hard to read, there you go. All right, so really clean, really simple. All we basically did was use the exact sample code that Twilio provided us on their documentation. And the one thing I'm gonna note here is if you want to begin adding images into your messaging and you want to send MMS, right? So what you need to do is you need to host your image on some sort of server. In production, what I normally do is I load my images, I upload them into an S3 bucket on AWS, and that is how I do it. I then, I then tell AWS to purge all images after they've been on that server for 30 days, and that's one way I'm able to manage the size. A lot of these um, installations that I make that I use this stuff in will want the images to be stored for a little while and 30 days is a little bit more than they need, but that works perfectly for me. Our image sizes are tiny usually and uh, it works out well. You guys can set it to delete pictures same day, an hour after it's been used, etc. cetera. Uh, those are all options. But I just wanna make sure you guys understand you do have to host the image. You can't just upload it through their API uh, there may be a mo uh, another option or service that Twilio offers that allows you to do it that way, but it's really easy to, to spin up a S3 on um, AWS or jump into uh, Google Cloud Services and put something in Firebase or something like that. Uh, the other option is you may be able to pull off some magic using like your Google Drive. So you can use a Google Drive APIs and tell your application to upload an image into a Google Drive, set it completely to public, modify that URL so it's not the standard um, kind of headers that are included in a Google Drive link, and make sure it's accessing it through a public, fully public kind of URL there, and that should potentially work too. In any case, I hope this makes Twilio a little bit easier for you guys. Here is the code that I was talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and completely delete this code, so I hope you guys don't use it. Um, don't even try, it's gonna be gone in just a minute. But uh, hopefully it helps. Leave your comments, mess, feedback, critique down below, and uh, make sure you subscribe when you have a chance. Have a good one, guys.